okay so welcome back guys um we are still on the topic of quadrilaterals and what we will be doing for today's drawing is we will be constructing a rectangle right and as we discussed already quadrilaterals are four-sided two-dimensional shapes right and a rectangle is four four sides but the part but the sides opposite to each other that run parallel those are equal in length so we will start with the given sides being a b at 80 we will call d b equals 40 millimeters all right so the first step in moving along we will be constructing our starting line for the last video i noticed my lines were a little bit too thin so you guys weren't seeing my construction lines so clearly but this time I'll try my best to make my construction lines a little brighter. Alright. Okay, so I'll just mark up 80 millimeters on my starting line. There you go, 80 millimeters. Alright. Now I'm just going to extend my starting line here a little. The reason why I'm doing so is because we'll be working with the same concept that we did with the square in terms of getting our first line, our first perpendicular line. And as we know, the technique for getting a perpendicular line are at 90 degrees is we would describe a semicircle there you go there is my semicircle then I will extend my compass and at this first point of my semicircle I will describe an arc and at my second point of my semicircle, I will describe another arc which will intercept my first arc. Now, I'm just going to go back here at point A and label it A. And go right here at point B and be sure to label it B. Right, so now we have point A and point B labeled. What I'm going to do now is I will take my set square and I'm going to draw a line which cuts, starts from point A and will cut directly through my arc which I described, right? Now I have a line here at 90 degrees. Okay, so moving along, as we said, we are working with the measurements given a b is 80 millimeters which is right here and d b is 40 millimeters now d b would be equal to a c right now you will see as i no mark of 40 millimeters I'm just going to set my compass. I'm going to set my compass at the given 40 millimeters. Alright. 
there we have our side AC and now I would set my compass here and scribe an arc all right now here at point C which I have gotten, this point is point C I am just going to set my compass what I will do is I am going to scribe a semicircle as I did here at point A right then I'm going to now extend my compass I'm going to put it back at this first point where my semicircle touches my line AC and to the point outside of AC all right and intersect my first arc in doing so I will now take my T square and as you can see my line runs perfectly through the arc which I got here at point B. Okay, so now all I have left is one side. And in achieving that one side, I could have just easily done this. But for the sake of accuracy, what I will be doing is we I'll be using my same semicircle technique, and I'm going to scribe a semicircle here at B. Extend my compass and at this first point where my semicircle intercepts my point my line a b i'm going to scribe an arc and at my second point i describe another arc and there you have it i'm just going to go ahead and brighten this line here we have our rectangle. Then we will go ahead and bring the other lines. So I just completed brightening my lines. I'm making my lines bold. And now I will just write in D as my final point. And there we have rectangle A. B, D, C, right? With AC being equivalent to BD, 40 millimeters, and CD being equal to AB, which is 80 millimeters. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.